Hi everyone and welcome back to part 3 of our Scratch lessons. Today we're going to be making a version of an old arcade game called Frogger. So here's a, a quick clip of that game. So the one that we're going to be making in Scratch will be similar to this, uh, it won't be exactly the same because I don't really want us to try and get into having to design all the graphics, we're just going to use the stuff that's already there with Scratch. So we're going to start off then, if we pick our browser, let's uh, go to the Scratch site, hopefully you will still be logged in um, from your last session, if not you do need to log in and then we're going to go to create. So the first thing that we're going to do today is we're going to create our background. So we're going to go to there where the stage is. We're going to click on the first backdrop because we're just going to use that one. And then up here, look at the top left, we go to backdrops. So what we need to start with is our, our lanes on here. Um, so initially, we want something that's kind of a, a light green color. Um, and you can sort of move these about until we get the sort of colour that we want there. So I'm going to go with that one. Our outline, um, we if you click just on the outside of that, and then we're going to go down to here to that line, which means no outline at all. Okay, so that gives us our rectangle. Now, what we've got to try and do is get all of our lanes exactly the same. So doing that's a little bit complicated. Um, just in matching everything up to start with. So I'm going to draw roughly half the screen and then if we go to the top here and grab hold of this, what I'm looking at is the centre of the stage there. So I want that to line up on the centre. Yeah, And we can see that we've got the bottom of it here. There's our centre line there. While that is still selected, so I'm going to use the pointer and click on there, we're going to copy that and we're going to paste a new one in. So now with the new one, we're going to try and do the same thing again. So now we get hold of this and we pull down to roughly around the middle and then click on the old one so that we're seeing where that um, center point is. So if I move this up just a fraction, yeah, and we're seeing each time, if I hover over that, you can see whether or not you're there. Just another fraction there. Yeah, that's it's not exactly on there, but that that will be close enough. Um, so now I'm going to click on the top one, and on your keyboard press delete, or you can use this one here. So that's gone. So now we need one that's half the width of this. So we're going to copy it. We're going to paste it. We're going to put that onto there, and then we're going to go for that halfway mark again. So if we Hover there, as you can see, it's just a fraction off. So again, let's just make that just slightly bigger. Okay, um, got a little bit too far there. Okay, so that's close enough. All right, so we're all right there. So we're going to click on the old one. We're going to delete that, and then this is the one that we're actually going to use now. So let's just get that on the bottom. You can make these a little bit wider at the sides. Which makes it easier to, to place any of them later on then. So once we've got our first one on there, now we are going to copy it, we're going to paste it, and we're going to put our next one here. Okay, now it's useful to look at the actual stage over on this side. Um, I'm just going to use my arrow keys on the keyboard, and you can see there where the gap is. So then we can just move it down, very small gap there, that's it, that one's gone. So I'm going to copy that one, I'm going to paste it, and I'm going to put it up to here. Again, you can see that gap. So just arrow key, just tap that down, copy and paste, and we're going to keep on doing this until we've filled the whole of the stage with these. So this might be a good point for you to pause the video and go and make those now. Once 
once you've got those completed, we don't have any gaps between them, uh, then we're going to start working on changing the colour of some of these. So our first one is going to stay as green. That's going to be our starting point, and that's going to be like a, a safe place for our character to be on. So now on the left over here, we're going to click on the, the paint bucket tool, and we want a, like a light brown colour. Now to get that, let's put these back up to the top here, but we're going to pull our colour down to the so orange, and then as we start making these paler, you get that sort of light brown that's just supposed to be like a, a sort of a soil colour. So you'll be okay with that one. Um, and now as you hover over each of these, you can see the colour it's going to go. So I'll click on that one. Um, we'll leave that one green. That one, we're just going to leave that one alone. And we're going to need something up there as well. So. Let's just make that one brown on there. Then, still with the paint bucket tool, I'm now going to go for um, a light blue colour. And I'm going to put that one there. So we've got safe places. I stop clicking on them, we'll stop changing colour. Um, so we've got safe places there, we've got to get across this. Somewhere safe, we've got two to get across. Somewhere safe, one final one, and then we are up at the top. <clears throat> now I've had a few people saying that they were having trouble finding all of the um, the blocks and that some of them weren't appearing and so on. The reason for that is because the moment we are on the stage and we don't move the stage around so that's why the motion blocks are not showing up. So to get any of the blocks you must be clicked on a sprite over here in the sprite tray and all of those blocks will then show up. So we're going to delete the cat, we're going to go down here in the sprite tray, we're going to click on the magnifying glass for choose a sprite, I'm going to go to animals, and I'm going to pick the crab, because it's got a little bit of an animation on it, uh, and it's, it's quite a sort of simple one, and it's pointing upwards as well. First thing that we've got to do is make it fit now in one of these um, lanes that we've just created. And again, just like last time, it's a case of, trying things out and just taking the best guess that you've got. So 40 is looking okay there. Can I get it slightly bigger? 45, yeah, possibly. And we're just going to put them down there at the bottom. So our X coordinate is going to be zero because we want him in the middle of both of these. The Y one now, say minus 174. Let's just try and Go with minus one seven five, just so that our numbers are easier um, all the time as we do any of this. First thing we're going to do is make certain that when the game starts, that's exactly where our player character goes to. So up here, we're going to go to events. When the green flag is clicked, go into motion, and it will already have those coordinates in there for us. And we're going to go to there. So any time that we move away from that position, that's where it's going back to. Now we need to be able to get this moving so we're going to use keyboard controls you can choose yourself I'd recommend either using the arrow keys or using WSAD which are fairly standard um, layouts for games like this so we're going to go back into um, events and it's not the green flag this time it's that one that starts off saying when space key is pressed so we're going to change that first of all to the W key so when W is pressed, we need this to, to move up. Um, what will happen though, it will rotate. So I want to do something about that first. So we're going to make um, there, we're going to turn off the um, rotation. So it only goes left, right. I'm going to make that point upwards. Um, and we might as well, whilst we're moving this right down to the middle, let's make it point uh, in that direction as well. So we've got point in direction, set that to upwards. So now when we're on here, when the W key is pressed, it's the same thing again. So let's get that. We want our character to point in the upwards direction, and then we need it to move 10 steps. Now, 10 steps is not going to be correct. Um, 
and I can't tell you exactly what you're going to need because it depends for everyone just on exactly how wide these are and they'll be slightly different for all of us so with that if we run the game press your up key W for me and we're seeing that's nowhere near enough so we need to take um, a guess at that so I'm uh, gonna go with 50 run that again and press upwards okay so it's not too bad there but you see how it's starting to creep into the next lane now so that by the time we get here it's part way through any of them so what we're going to do is just decrease that slightly let's try 45 and now it looks to me as though it's not quite jumping enough look because we're just getting a little bit hanging off the edge each time there so it's not not too far off let's try 46 and that looks yep we're not having any bits sort of uh, hanging off the edge there so once we've got that one let's duplicate that block so our down key is going to be S we'll go to there we're going to make it point down and we're still going to move 46 steps so running that now what we need to check is that we can go upwards without coming out of a lane and we can also go downwards without coming out of that lane Right, so the side movements a little bit different um, so we, we're going to end up somewhere around here which is around minus 210 minus 200 something like that um, and back at zero there so what we're going to do then is we will duplicate one of these um, and this time then I'm going to use the A key or left so when a is pressed we want it now to point in that direction um, and I'm going to try move a 20 with that and just uh, see how long it takes us to get across so it's not a huge jump but it's getting us there each time so we're at minus 180 minus 200 so it's just a nice um, even number for us to use uh, when we're moving some of the enemy sprites later so we're going to do the same with this one then. So this is going to be the D key. So when D is pressed, we need it to point to the right. And we're going to move 20 steps there. So we want to check each of these. And make sure that we can move around. At that point, it's a good idea for you to pause the video. Go and build these blocks. Test them. And then make sure that you save and then come back again. I'm just going to give this one then uh, our name, so we'll call that one Crabber and then save that. So if you go and make those and then come back to the video for our, our next part. Hopefully now you should be at the stage where you've got your five programs, you've named the game, you've saved it, we've got all our background done. Uh, I'm going to move our character back down to there. Instead of running the game, and this will become useful later when we bring enemies in, if you go to just one program and double click it, it runs just that one, which is putting our character back down to there. What we're going to look at now, for, just to finish off uh, these programs for the character, is we don't want players to be moving to the edge and then hiding off the side of the screen to avoid our enemies. Um, or if someone maybe goes downwards, now they're sort of stuck outside of each of those lanes. So we're going to put some programs together to uh, stop that from happening. From these, we can see where the X and Y coordinates of our character are, but we can't really do anything with them. So I'm going to go into motion, and if we scroll down in motion a little bit, We've got some tick boxes here for X position and Y position. So I'm going to tick those. They'll come up on here temporarily, just so we can see what they are. Um, but these are the actual parts we're going to be using with them. So I'm going to drag X position and Y position onto here so that they're just handy for when, when we need them. Let's go to events and start up a new program. So when the flag is clicked, we're going to then go into control we're going to get 
an if then and we're going to get a forever loop so then we're saying forever if then inside that we're going to need an operation um, so we'll start with this end as we move this way with the crab our x coordinate gets smaller and minus 200 is around the last one where we can keep the whole thing on there so we're going to use our less than symbol here we're going to set that to 200 and then we're going to drop the x position into there now we're going to drop the whole thing into our if then statement so we're saying on this thing if the x position is less than 200 so not 200 let's make that less than minus 200 if the x position is less than minus 200 then go to right motion and we've got there look set x to minus 200 and it's set to minus 200 because that's where we are at the moment let's just test that program so we're going to move over to the side here and every time someone tries to go up the side that means that our x position is less than minus 200 so it's just going to put us back to that last position and this is why at the very start I used 20 steps because it just divides evenly along any of those let's stop that one I'm going to now duplicate this so we don't want that same symbol now so we're going to go back to the operators and now we want the greater than symbol so this one is going to be a positive 200 there we can take our x position and put it in here and put that back to there so if the x position is greater than 200 then we want to set x to 200 so we need to get rid of that minus 200 there and i can throw this one away so let's test that one out again so we know that our player can't hide off the edge of the screen so the next thing we need to do is do the same so that we don't end up coming out of our lanes here at each stage um, so we're just going to do the same but we're going to do it for the y coordinate so right click and duplicate it down there if you run out of space on the screen just move these up or you just click on the area you can scroll up and down that's fine so it's not going to be the x position this time so we can get rid of that it's going to be the y position so if the y position is less than that's not minus 200 because we're starting at minus 175 so let's go in there and change that then we're not interested in the x position anymore so let's go to motion and we need to find set y and it will be at one minus 175 because that's where our character is at the moment let's test it so we're going to move up we're going to move down we're going to try and move down again and it just keeps in that position so very easy then to duplicate this one we need to take out the maths function the operator sorry um, we're going to go then to a greater than um, and we need to know where we're going to be at the top of the screen for this so let's run the game so there we are at the top and that is 147 so if it gets greater than 147 we take our y position out of there and put it back in and we're going to set the y to 147 we can remove that one now so we're going to start again we're going to make sure that we don't end up going off the top there make sure that we don't go off the bottom and make sure that our left and right are both working and at that point um, I'm going to change the name of this to Grab a two. I'm going to save it, and that we'll finish there for part A, um, and we'll continue then in part B with our enemies. So see you next time.